Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in this video uh, we're going to be looking at how to upload files with the Fetch API. So the main benefit of using Fetch to upload files is that you're able to upload files asynchronously. This means um, your end user doesn't need to have a page refresh when uploading files. Um, so this video is going to focus on uploading a single file using Fetch, um, but I will be doing a follow-up video which explains how to upload multiple files. All right, anyway, so um, let's begin by looking at the current directory structure inside Visual Studio Code. So I've got here this index.html file. It's pretty basic and simple at the moment. I've also got this upload.php script, which uh, basically is gonna be accepting a, um, an upload or file, and then it's gonna move it to a directory called uploads, which is found right here. So this is just to demonstrate the entire upload process. You can use whatever server-side technology that you like. It's still going to work. All right, so uh, let's get started. Let's go back inside the index.html file and create a new HTML form. Um, this form is going to contain the file input itself and also a submit button. All right, so let's make a new form tag with a class of form. Um, this isn't required by you, so um, this, uh, this form class just adds my own custom styling from the decode.css style sheet. All right. I'm also going to be adding an ID of my form. So you notice here that I'm not actually going to be using an action and method on the form. That's because we're going to be using fetch, so all that stuff will be defined in JavaScript. Um, and this idea of my form is so we can actually reference the form itself within JavaScript. All right, let's now make the, uh, the file input. So I can say uh, input with a type of file and an ID of INP file. All right, so um, yeah, pretty straightforward. I can just add a line break here and create the, uh, the submit button. So button with a type of submit, and we can just say upload file. All right, so I can just uh, save this and refresh the browser, and we get this result right here. Cool, so let's now go inside the JavaScript and add some code to, of course, upload the file. So first, let's get a reference to both um, the form and the INP file, or the uh, file input. So let's make down here, let's go ahead and make uh, two constants. The first one's going to be called my form equal to document.getElementById. We're going to pass in here my form. And secondly, we're going to do the same thing for the IMP file. So now we have both the form and the file input defined or referenced in JavaScript. So when the form gets submitted by the user, okay, with this button, um, we're going to basically uh, prevent the default behavior from occurring. So um, we don't want the browser to refresh the page. So I'm going to say my form dot add event listener, and we're going to say submit. And here we're going to grab hold of the e event object, and we're going to say e dot prevent default. So this is basically going to prevent the default behavior which is the page refreshing or redirecting. Okay, so um, this is gonna override our stuff and we're gonna use fetch to upload the file instead. So inside here, um, we can now use fetch. So uh, first, let's define the actual endpoint for the file to be uploaded to. So uh, we're gonna be uploading to the upload.php file. So let's make a new constant and call this one endpoint equal to upload.php so it's basically our URL all right and we also need to create a, um, a form data object so let's make a new constant down here and call this one form data equal to new form data so this is basically gonna it's gonna hold the file once it has been chosen and then it's gonna be passed in to the fetch request all right so speaking of that, we can uh, go down here and say form data dot append, okay, and we can say imp file, and then pass in here imp file dot files at index zero. So this first argument to the append uh, method 
is basically uh, the same thing as defining a name attribute up here. So basically having this right here is the same as saying name inp file. Okay, so the first attribute here basically means your name. So what gets sent to the server um, as the key or the name, all right? Now this second argument is of course the actual data to send. So in this case, we're saying inp file, so the file input itself, and then we're gonna say files at index zero. So I'll just go down here and just console.log inp file dot files. So this files property contains an array of files and basically it's the files that have been selected. All right, so um, let's go back into um, the web browser refresh here and then choose a file for example let's just choose this thumbnail press open press submit and we get here a file list okay so this is your imp file dot files if we expand this we get at index zero we get this entire file object so basically this file here represents this selected file right here all right so back inside here, we can see that we're basically just gonna be adding the first file in that list, which in this case will be the selected file. All right, get rid of that. Cool. So now we can go down here and basically we have the form data object which contains all of our data to actually send to the server. We can now post it using fetch. So we can say fetch to endpoint, so to upload.php and we can pass in here as a second argument an object which contains a few properties. We can say method as being post, so I'm gonna make a post request, and body as being form data. So basically here, we're saying send this data to the server um, with a post request. Now, um, fetch is gonna automatically add the, um, the encoding type or the uh, content type to be uh, multi-part slash form data. That's automatic given the fact we're uploading um, or we're, we're submitting this form data object. All right, and now we can just say, you know what, if something went wrong, we're gonna say console.error. And that is all of our code completed. So I can now uh, save this and then refresh the browser and then uh, just choose a file here. Let's choose this, uh, once again, this thumbnail image, press open, upload file and inside the developer tools inside the network tab we can see here we have the upload.php uh, requests and inside the headers section if we scroll down uh, we can see we get form data inp file and then binary so it has submitted the file to the server um, which means also inside the uploads directory we now have the thumbnail file all right so the main thing to take away from this video is that uh, basically, we're going to be using, or we use the form data object here and then append the actual file object from the file input and then, of course, submit it using the Fetch API. And that is how you can upload files with the Fetch API in JavaScript. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.